You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's America's Next Top Model After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's America's Next Top Model After Show. Yay. Woo! Well, welcome, welcome, everyone. Bing is for doing, and we're here doing the finale special of America's Next Top Model College Edition. I'm Jackie Moran calling in from New York, and we have our lovely host holding it down in the L.A. studios for us. We have Lauren, Ali Kona, and Erica all joining us. Hello, Hi. ladies. Hello. Hi. Oh, I love that in unison. <laughs> <laughs> We're all so excited because we have, this is an interview special right now with the third place, but the winner in our hearts, Leela, is on the line. Welcome, Leela. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 It's funny to hear your voice, Leela, because you sound exactly, exactly the same as we heard you on this whole season, and we're mm -hmm. so happy to have you chatting with us. You are one of our favorites. I have to say that right off the bat. <laughs> Yay. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome, and, you know, I think the first thing we have to say that just shows how talented you are and how much you should totally be a model in the real world starting right now um, is the fact that you were the first comeback girl ever to be voted back into America's Next Top Model history. So how does that make you feel? Oh, my gosh. It is so awesome. It's It's like... I'm not the first winner of America's Next Top Model ever, but I am the first person to ever come back. So that's something that I feel like if they do it in the future, like I'll always be the first, and that's just so amazing. Um, it was an awesome opportunity to be able to come back on the show, and I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have the opportunity. So it's, it's an amazing feeling. Well, that's so great, and I know the ladies in the studio are dying to say some things, right? Because I know we're all Leela fans in the studio. Yes. So yes. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Good. So, ladies, why don't you jump in and ask Leela everything we're dying to hear? Okay. Hey, Leela. My name is Ali Kona. Hi. Hi. I actually wanted Hi, to Ali. know what the difference was between the two houses like going into the eliminated house you were there for a fairly decent amount of time what was the level of competition of trying to come back versus the level of competition of the ladies that were in the running still um i feel like it was a ton of competition because you had to do great every week and you had to be the one person to come back each week one person is eliminated but say there's six girls left five of them will go on um, but this one, I just feel like every week was so important because you needed the highest average out of all five girls or five or six girls. So it was a ton of competition and it was a lot of pressure and there were a lot of nights I stayed up crying because I was scared and I just wanted to win so badly so I could come back in the competition and I was lucky enough to do that. So, Lila, were you in, you guys were in a, so I guess maybe explain to us like how exactly it worked when you guys were, um, uh, not not on the show, so kind of in that comeback competition. Um, maybe explain to the listeners a little bit more how that went and the photo shoots and everything. Um, yeah, we were just um, on a separate location and doing our photo shoots at a different time, but in the same place as the other girls. Um, we didn't have to do any of the challenges or any of that stuff, so we were very focused on the photo shoots, which was, good but at the same time um we felt a little left out that we didn't just get to do everything else mm. especially when it comes to the go-sees everybody wants to do the go-sees and 
none of the eliminated girls, including myself, got to do those. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much it. We just did the photo shoots at a different time, and we got to hang out with each other, which was nice. It was, it was a lot less drama-free. That's what I definitely noticed between the two houses. So, Leah, I do have to ask, though, when you guys were put in this second house, what was that house like? Like, were you guys put in, like, a podunk motel with bad accommodations? Or what, what was it like there? Um, it was it was enjoyable. It was very comfortable. We got to be around each other. Um, it definitely wasn't like they just stuck us up in some crappy motel <laughs> rooms or anything. We were definitely we were treated very well, and we had a great experience out of that. So, um, well, that's great to hear. And, you know, I just want to, before we get off this topic, because I think everybody's kind of feeling this learning curve with cycle 19, this whole new cycle. Even you gals were like the test bunnies for it. <laughs> but as far as not doing the challenges, now the girls who saw you come back said that that was an advantage. You're saying pretty much the opposite. It was a disadvantage because you didn't get exposed, basically to those other opportunities the girls were getting? Because basically they thought it was like you scooted by, you didn't have to do all the challenges, and here you are getting to come back. So do you disagree with that? Oh, my gosh. I totally disagree with that. The challenges are, are awesome. They're such a, an awesome opportunity, and it's an advantage because you learn something new, you get to experience something new, you get the, the chance to win prizes. And for me personally, in the finale, the challenge scores counted and I didn't have the opportunity to even participate in some of the challenges. Mm. So um, you never know. I could have done great in those, or I could have done poorly. It just, I feel like I missed out definitely not doing the challenges. That's so what I, I I'd rather have stayed and done all the challenges than scooted by. <laughs> Yeah, Leela, hi, this is Lauren. That's what I was going to say. I was wondering about that because you definitely, the, the scores this time were cumulative uh, for the first time on America's mm -hmm. Next Top Model. And I feel yeah. like you, it affected you a little bit negatively in, in that sense because there were some opportunities that you had missed out on just because you were in the comeback house instead of in the actual competing house. So, I mean, I guess you kind of answered that, but to reiterate, do you feel like you would have done better had you been in the the first house the entire time? Because in my opinion, you were the best model on the show. So um, I don't know. I mean, do you definitely think just being in the comeback and the second house sort of affected your scores negatively? Um, thank you for saying that. Um, yeah. I definitely think it affected me negatively because I didn't, I didn't have the opportunity. I mean, some people could say, well, she doesn't do good on challenges. She would have been awful. But seeing the challenges, I feel like I, I missed out. And I feel like those are the things that I would have really enjoyed doing. And I would have had the chance to have a higher score. And, yeah, I definitely do feel like I missed out a lot not being in those challenges. Yeah. So I, I agree. Yeah. So, Leela. Well, you have to. You, oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Erica. Oh, no, I was going to say, so, Leela, this is, this is Erica. And um, talking a little bit about, you know, you coming back um, into the house after they've done all that and maybe bonded a little bit more, or had those experiences, did you feel at all that maybe there was kind of a different energy coming back into the house? And, you know, they did highlight some of the drama when you went in there. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I definitely felt super alienated when I first came back. But I will be completely honest. It was great to see Kiara did um, welcome me with open arms. She, mm. she didn't. I mean, I didn't get the confidence thing. She had confidence in herself, so she wasn't. She wasn't as intimidated. But it was great to see her um, open up to me and be excited that I came back. And it, it was definitely very genuine. So that was nice to see. But definitely, um, they had all bonded and something I missed out <laughs> on. So I was I was the odd man out. Yeah, to a certain extent. But before I came, Victoria was odd man out. So people like to say, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that... Well, Leela just teamed up with Victoria. Well, but no, I honestly did feel pretty bad seeing how the other girls had treated her while I was away. Well, it's interesting to hear you say that because uh, there's been definitely conflicting opinions on Victoria. And I have to say, when we interviewed her, she was so well-spoken and really yes. driven. And I really appreciated everything she had yeah. to say, actually. And she seemed more real than a lot of the other girls. But, um, you know, I have to say, your 
saying you're the, you were kind of okay being the odd man out a little bit. Um, how did it really go down with you and Laura throughout that, like, into the finale, you coming back? It, everyone basically on the judging panel sort of felt that, they, that you shook her confidence there towards the end. Uh, is it really how we saw it on TV, or how was it between you and Laura? Um, I'm not sure. Me and Laura have had a weird relationship where um, I, I'm not really sure exactly how I affected how me coming back affected Laura in the competition. Um, it's hard to tell with some people exactly what's really going on inside. So I'm not really sure how it affected her coming back. I I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say, Leela, this is Ali Kona. I feel like as an onlooker when I was watching it, prior to you coming back, she was like starting to get a little bit Complacent. Not, there you go. Well, that too, cocky. but a little bit cocky, mm -hmm. and she was very confident. And then as soon as you came back, all of a sudden we saw a really insecure version of her that none of us had seen before. So it was interesting because I feel like internally she was slowly just crumbling away because she was so worried about you coming back and being her competition. So, anyways. Um, I mean, I, I agree. I kind of, I, I felt that energy coming from her during the competition. Um, she definitely wasn't as supportive as from yeah, some of the other girls towards me. And I think I think it might have been for those reasons, but I'm really not sure. Well, Laura, I mean, Leela, I was going to say Laura is, is very, like, commercial. And you, I think, were are, are very high fashion and one of the most high fashion models I think I've seen in a while on America's mm -hmm. Next Top Model. And I kind of feel like, yeah, I I thought that Laura was definitely shooken up when you came back in because you rock photo shoots like no other. And I, in my opinion, think you guys have way two different looks. But did you feel like your you were like the one lone really high fashion look in this group of commercial girls? So I feel like everyone was really commercial yeah. and everyone was gorgeous, but you were the one high fashion. Do you think that worked for your advantage or disadvantage? What do you think? Um, I, um, I don't know, I think the only other girl who really stood out to be high fashion, well, I think both, um, Victoria and Nastasia, yeah. in my mind, were my, um, high fashion competition, mm -hmm. and it, it felt kind of like a disadvantage, because people just kept saying, well, she can only do editorial, she can only, she'll never be able to do commercial, um, and... I was kind of like singled out in that sense, but people don't realize that I do commercial. <laughs> I, I do commercial back home. I did commercial before the show started, so it's something that I know I can do. And I felt like it was a little unfair that just because I do look more high fashion and because most of our photo shoots were editorial and were high fashion, that was being held against me as opposed to being praised for it. Right. And right. Sometimes mm -hmm. I was praised for it, but at the same time, um, when it, it, I was being um, criticized for it, it just, in my mind, didn't feel fair. Right, yeah, yeah that makes sense. me and Laura definitely have, have different looks. Yes. We definitely have different looks, um, and we'll probably have different careers, and that's just, that's just who we are, I think. Yeah. So, Leah... Right. Well, we hope, certainly hope that you're going to have a huge career, because you really, you know, do it, embody that kind of high fashion that... You like watching, though. It's not that high fashion. Sometimes high fashion is an excuse for, like, why is this girl doing anything? You're just a really great example of the girls I see in New York coming from a modeling perspective that I see walk into a casting and I'm like, oh, darn, they're going to get it <laughs> because you're just that low. So I'm really excited to see where you go. But before we talk about that, one other thing I really want to touch upon is – kind of like that falling down and getting back up thing. Of course it was accentuated with the runway show, but let's not forget you got yes. slapped by the dolphin, you got back up and did great. You were scared of the horse, you got back up and did great in the second take. So the runway show to me was maybe a little more pronounced because it was the finale, but you kind of, again, with the comeback alone, you're that girl that kept falling down or getting knocked down and picking yourself back up. So, I'm, you know, obviously with the runway show specifically, um, how did you find it in you that I know, even Miss America did that in the, in the Miss Universe pageant. How do you find it in you to get back up and get through moments like that? Um, yeah, that was, that was actually really interesting that it just felt like that was an ongoing theme for me throughout the season. And it wasn't from any kind of any, it wasn't 
scripted at all. Just that just kept happening to me. I just kept getting kind of knocked down and having to recover from it. And um, I do pride myself on not being able to come back and being able to be strong because that's something that I haven't always been so great at. And I'm learning to to recover pretty gracefully. And I'm I'm really proud of that. But the runway itself was so disappointing that I did fall. And it was so scary having to go back out there again and knowing that everybody's watching me even more because I just right. fell twice on the runway. But, um, yeah, I'm I'm proud of my recovery, and I'm, I'm proud of what I did. And it was difficult, and I will definitely admit I'm not an experienced runway model whatsoever. So being in that situation was so much more difficult than it would have been if it were a normal runway show. But... It is a competition, so that was the case. And, um, yeah, it just keep. I just had to keep coming back, I guess, and keep recovering. And that was, that was something I definitely um, am so happy that people notice that and people realize that and don't just keep seeing, like, oh, well, she got to fight off and she was scared of the horse she fell on the runway because there is that aspect of me coming back and recovering. So, Leila, talking about the photo shoots, though, we all know that it's it requires a lot of focus and confidence, and you can't get shook by things that are going on around you, like, environmentally. And you had such strong pictures, but then going in after the comeback, you came back real strong, and then all of a sudden, there's a dream come true shoot, and then we see, like, a little bit of you getting shook up. And then it just kind of went downhill a little bit between that and then the horse. And watching it back now and you seeing yourself get psyched out, is there anything, like, internal dialogue that you would have changed with yourself so that maybe some of those situations wouldn't have happened? Yeah, um, the dream come true shoot was, I felt so rattled. It was something that I, I didn't feel throughout the competition at all. I was just so nervous for some reason and I think because it was finally dawning on me that it was coming to an end and plus that day I was feeling very sick I don't know if it was nerves or what mm -hmm. but that day was just so difficult for me and I was trying to think of things that would make me happy so I think of my boyfriend and then it made me think of how much I miss my boyfriend <laughs> so then I just took that moment and really cleared my mind and had to I can get past that and recover from it. And then with the horse, <laughs> oh my gosh, I've always loved animals. Being on this show, like I've realized animals from afar are great, but sometimes being up close aren't so great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have I have cousins who have horses and they ride horses and they were so embarrassed to <laughs> see me in that. But I don't know. <laughs> They said that the horse definitely, it, it wasn't my fault, and it was definitely the horse was mm -hmm. freaking out, and they're not sure why, and I'm not sure why. And I just really wanted to, um, while the horse was freaking out, just keep going and keep doing my lines and keeping my composure, but it just got to the point where I was scared and I was very uncomfortable. So I just I just kind of waited for somebody to come and take the horse away because I value my life. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, but the comeback was good. Like, you got it together really nicely. I was really shocked that the the competition was between, I think, Kiara and Laura, and I felt like you came back and did a really good job with that. Yeah, thank you. you. I know. I, I, <laughs> no, sorry. I was going to say, we only have you because you are so wildly popular being in the finale, making it all the way to the finale. Mm -hmm. we, we only had you for a couple of minutes, and I really – want to just get one last thing in because it's the most okay. important thing we need to know okay. do you have an agency now that the show is over because that's like if you don't i'm gonna make sure you do <laughs> <laughs> at the moment i'm still looking into my options um i know there are options open for me right now and i just want to make sure i do the right thing so i'm in the right place and i can get the most out of my model and career as possible. So at the moment, no, I'm not an agency, but I'm still exploring my options. So now, do you think your options will land you in a certain city, or you know, you don't know yet, or anything decided, um, or not yet? I'm definitely my sight to set towards New York. Um, that's where Yay. I ultimately want to be, and that's that's where I'm trying to be. But yeah, that's that's definitely where. Um, I hope I am in the future. Um, but, yeah, 
Okay, well, good. That is where I think you absolutely, I think we can all agree in the studio, right, ladies? That's yeah, where you should be. For sure. And uh, we can't wait to see where you go after the show because I really think, you know, you don't always have to be the winner to, to win from a situation. You will definitely do very well. I'm really, we're all excited to see where you go from here. Be sure to keep in touch with us on AfterBuzz TV. And um, for now, we are signing off. Thank you so much, Leela. I'm Jackie Moran. And thank Lauren so Alicona and Erica, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Thank and Leela, good luck. Thanks, We're so Leela. excited to have you. Yes. Thank, thank you, Leela. Good luck. Oh, so my gosh. Bye. 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 Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Thanks, everyone, for joining Bye. us. We'll be back with much more finale special coming up. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.